the dark clouds are very ominous, but that's okay. This LP is going to be pretty fun, or at least I hope so. Anyway, welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I'm going to be playing the original Game Boy version because it's nostalgic for me. Anyway, Link. Oh god. We're getting struck by lightning. I don't think he's a very good seafarer. Anyway, this is one of my favorite games on the original Game Boy. This and Metroid 2 were pretty much my babysitters. I had these things on the brick Game Boy. Yeah, they were really fun. Um, this is actually my favorite Zelda game, so I'm going to try and do it some justice here in this LP, and I really hope you enjoy, you know, what I'm doing. So, anyway, we've washed up on this beach. This girl is here to help us. I guess we'll figure what that's about in a few moments. There's also an egg on a mountain. Hmm. Very strange, this place. Anyhow, welcome to the game, and here's your title screen. As you can see, this game was released in 1993 by Nintendo. As I said earlier, for the original Game Boy. And they re-released a DX version for the Game Boy Color. Uh, but I'm not going to be playing that one. I'm going to be playing this one. Anyway, Marty is the name of our hero. We wake up in the house of this woman. Mistake her for Zelda for some reason. No one's ever heard of Zelda. Who's Zelda? Okay, so apparently we've washed up on Koholint Island. And this guy has got something for us. Oh, it's our shield! Well, how nice of you! We've got the level 1 shield now. We can use it to flip enemies. Awesome. Anyway, I'm going to flip it over to the A button because that's just how I roll. Anyway, make your way one screen to the south. And uh, we're going to be at the pre-beach area. Watch out for the old ladies, they're pretty deadly. Sometimes they shoot Octorox at you, but that doesn't happen very often. Most times they just wander around back and forth. They're not too much of a threat, especially since we have our shield to fend them off. Anyhow, we're down here on the beach because there's an item that we need to collect, a very important quest item. Something that's very pertinent to our journey. Uh, that sword is not it. Actually, you could ignore that sword. Uh, the sword we want to get is actually over here. Oh, and we were uh, kind enough to engrave our name on the sword. Hey, hey, crab! I'm trying to do a cutscene here. Fuck you. Anyway, now we can go back to the west, and there's the item we want. But uh, first, we're gonna hear a pretty long plot point from an owl. Yeah, he comes around from time to time to interrupt us. I don't know something about a plot. It's not really important. Basically, you can't leave the island to wake the wind fish. To wake the wind fish, you gotta collect a bunch of shit. Pretty much like any Zelda game. Go to dungeons, collect stuff, collect magical items, whatever. Anyway, we've grabbed the level zero shield. This is the item we wanted because it is very important to our journey. Anyway, let's make our way to the first dungeon. It is actually one screen further to the south from the beach. Uh, this little teleporter is actually gonna make our way to the top of this mountain here. All right, and we're already there. That was pretty fast. Welcome to the first dungeon of the game, Turtle Rock. I know the game's saying level eight, but it's a lie. It's actually level one. It's the first dungeon, anyway. All right, so the first dungeon item is the magic rod. It allows us to shoot burning energy. It's a pretty cool weapon. It's actually pretty superior to the level one sword. This dungeon also has another item, the power bracelets. It allows us to lift heavy things. And if we go one screen further to the south, another power bracelet. Actually, this is the level 2 power bracelet. It allows us to lift even heavier shits. But that's neither here nor there. It's mini-boss time! This guy wants to play catch. Basically, we can make use of our new power bracelets. Pick up the iron ball, throw it at him. Don't let him throw it at you, because he does a lot of damage. Actually, this dungeon has a lot of very strong enemies for being the first dungeon of the game. I'm not really sure what's up with that. You'd think they put some easier, you know, enemies in the first dungeon. I don't know. Anyway. I like a challenge, so I'm not going to complain about it. If you fill all the black areas in that room, you get a key, but we really don't need a key right now. Keys are not that important. Fuck you, guy. Anyway, as in any Zelda game, the next thing we want to do after collecting the dungeon item is to find the boss, take him out, and collect the super special treasure. 
And uh, I keep checking my map because, I don't know, I'm lost. I don't really know where I'm going. Anyway, there we go. The boss is just north of the entrance. It's not really hard to get there. And here we are. You know, there aren't very many puzzles in this game. You just kind of travel from screen to screen, but... Hey, whatever. This is the Hothead, the boss of the first dungeon. For some reason, he is born of fire, he lives in magma, and his weakness is fire. Go figure. Anyway, he's pretty easy. Which makes sense for a first boss. You don't want one that's too tough. That'll scare you away from the game. I don't know what he's talking about. Something something about the plots. More talkings about the windfish, the dream. I don't know. Apparently something's dreaming. Alright, so after we've grabbed that heart, we can make our way into the room to the north and grab the Thunder Drum! Our first instrument, Ova Windfish. Alright, so the whole point of this game is to collect all eight of these instruments and uh, play them outside of that mysterious egg that we saw, so... Yeah, something about an egg. Anyway, that's not important. Whenever you collect the item, you're transported to the entrance of the dungeon, so that's going to be it for this. We kill a few crows here. I'll see you guys next time for Dungeon 2. Later.